Hi guys, I'm Michelle from Cotswold Gardener. So I'd bring you along on my on our journey of getting the garden landscaped. We moved into the house about a year ago and we haven't really done a lot to the garden since we've been here. So it's all basically as it was when we first moved in. Sorry about the traffic, we do live on main road. Um, so starting off in the front garden, all of the grass is going to be coming up eventually. I want a cottage garden out here. We have got some holes in the hedge. We pulled up a load of um, ivy out of it and it's just left some massive holes but I'm hoping that the hedge will regenerate. It's starting to, started to get a lot more some new buds and stuff growing on it. Starting to come back a little bit where the ivy was growing through it. But it does look like a cast crash for it. Um, all of this needs coming up. Previous owners said that there was a big lilac tree here. So um, we need to take up all the old stems. There's stems all in there. So we need to get all those up and the trunks that have been left behind. And we're going to be putting in um, a vegetable garden all the way down here with some raised beds, fruit on the on the fence. So from the fence up to the hedge there'll be some fruit trees and veg beds. And then all this will be like a cottage garden. Um, we're going to be putting a sort of pergola lean-to against the front of the house and extending the path because at the moment when you come to the front door you tend to stand on the grass and get muddy feet. I put our honeysuckle in from our old house the other day um, but there's lots of new growth on it already and it's only January. I don't know if that's going to zoom in on it but um, yeah, what's the date? So January the 20th today and we've had a really mild, wet winter so far so everything's starting to grow. We've got a lot of uh, forget-me-nots bulbs along here and a rose that I planted last year which is a yellow rose um, waiting to come up there. It takes a lot to grow, mow this grass and it's not really grass, there's a lot of moss and weeds in the ground so we're just going to get rid of the front lawn and have it all shrubs and perennials and a lot of annuals, a lot of colour. There's an old hawthorn stump there, there's a big hawthorn tree growing here the previous owners took down so all that needs clearing. The only thing we've really done in the garden since we've been here is put the new fence up as you can see straight through to our back garden because um, it was a low fence that was here before so we've put that up I've got uh, a clematis here that's blown out there and there are some new buds growing on it so I think it should be okay this year I bought it as a as a plant that was going over on the on the garden centre and it just didn't do very well at all last year but there's some new buds growing on there as well so hopefully I'm hoping it will absolutely cover the fence so all of this bit here will be veg beds eventually to get rid of the path we want it coming around in an arch around the garden and then we'll end enter the front door sort of from that side and this bit will be blocked off with a low wall right I'll take you through to the back this is our main problem area is that this part here our soil's really clay so when we um, when it's wet and it's been especially wet this winter 
it's like a bog down here so we've got to sort something out um, down here maybe put some sleepers in for a path and have gravel in between but the bark chip is just soaking it up and it's so squelchy and horrible so we'll be keeping our bins we've got some grid down at the moment but we'll be extending that grid in out um, so we'll have a nice area for the bins to go on and then our shed is going to be in this area here in a 6x8 shed which is our first project of this year so we're taking up all this bark chip that's down here over the next couple of weeks and then at the end of the month we'll be getting the shed down I need to take up that fern and that bush there so into the back garden so we've got lovely views we've got no houses behind us at all um, all of this um, gravel will be coming up and filled with shrubs and perennials and we've got this really horrible problem area which is just concrete and it's all smashed up and it's got worse since we've moved in 12 months ago as you can see it's raising up in places so we need to sort something out we were going to um, put a patio down on top of it but it's moving too much so we've got to work out a way of getting this bit a bit more tidy um, so the metal shed will be going so the shed will be moved into that area there no longer have a rabbit he passed away just before Christmas so that will be going and then this whole bit this patio we need to do we see need to do something with it my plants overwintering there um, so we're going to be decking this part here where the metal shed is at the moment and putting a, a hot tub in there eventually not just yet <laughs> and then as you can see there's nothing in the back garden at all it's just grass fence to fence so we're hoping to do sort of an S shape a shape of a, a lawn and lots of trees and shrubs and perennials in there only problem is we have this horrible electricity pylon in our garden so I'll come up with some way of disguising that but if you want to watch our journey of how we are going to be transforming the house the garden um, watch along thank you very much